Hi there YouTubers and uh, welcome to the next video. Um, first off before I go anywhere I'd just like to say a massive thank you to all of the people on YouTube, um, on the forums as well for the comments and the kind regards, um, positive and negative as well. Um, I don't make these videos to make a profit, I'm just doing it for the fun of it. Um, I like making videos, playing around in Premiere um, and yes they do have uh, monetization on there but if it helps me pay for a couple of tins of pellets that's probably all it's going to do. So. Um, um, thank you, please keep subscribing and I'll produce some more videos like this. So anyway, today's video, again we're back with the, uh, the Calibre Cricket. Um, after the last couple of uh, videos, especially the first one, when we did uh, 25 metres, um, I've got a lot of comments on some of the forums saying, yeah 25 metres, yeah not bad grouping, what's it like out to 50 metres? So I thought we'd do a very quick video today just on 50 metre accuracy testing. Um, like I said, I'm no brilliant shot at all. When you see me shooting, you'll see that uh, I don't adopt a proper position, my breathing's all off, um, I've got the bipod on here, which I'm not even using, I'm resting on pillows from the front room, because I don't even have a, um, a bench rest to put it on or anything like that. Um, and unfortunately, I can't actually get up to 50 meters in my garden, well, not very easily. So I'm at about just over 40 meters. Um, and we'll see how we do with that. So what we're going to do is we're going to fire three or four lots down there. We'll do uh, a couple of test shots because uh, down there I have also have a, a couple of metal targets that we can just use to see what my drop off is and see how many mill dots I've got to go up. So I'm not concentrating here on hitting the centre of the target, more the grouping. What's the grouping like? Trying to put the crosshairs in exactly the same place every single time. So what I'm going to do is I'm going to lift the camera off and we will show you where we are shooting from and where the range is going to be on that. So let's just uh, put the bipod on this out and we'll grab this camera off and give you a quick look see. So this is where we're going to be shooting down to, right down at the bottom of, our, of my garden. So I'm sort of like shooting diagonally. So there we are, all the way down there. So we've got a couple of metal flip-up targets down there and we have our paper target down there as well. So just to zoom out and see the sort of distance we're going from here. And the distance we were shooting at last time was approximately, so if we come to here and then we zoom down to there, that's where we were shooting before, to the 25 metre mark. And just to give you a sense of perspective, we've actually moved ourselves right back into the bottom corner of the garden. So we're going to be shooting from here. And if we come and give you what it looks like from around the other side, you can see that's our target down range there, all the way down range. So that's where we're shooting. We've got a nice metal backstop, wooden uh, metal and wooden backstop there. So we're nice and safe. And what we'll also do is we'll put our camera down range. So once we get set up, uh, we'll bring you straight back. So that's our 14 shots, we're going to take a look down range and see what we've got. Okay, so uh, we've got a couple of flyers. We take a look down here, we can see a couple of shots down the bottom here. Uh, those are my first two shots. Um, well, I was just settling in, like I said, it's a long time since I've shot. But the, the rest of the 12 are all up in about an inch. Um, 
yeah, you're looking at about an inch group there. And like I said, I am not a great shot at all. So now I just settled in, that's the first proper shoots I've done. Let me breathe and settle. We'll try again and uh, we'll give it another go. Okay, so we're back again, and uh, we're still, I, this is me, I'm struggling here, uh, one loose shot definitely all over the place, but you can see the grouping's not too bad, we're all again still within an inch, you know, we're about, we've got zero wind here at the moment, and I'm trying to rest on these pillows and it's not working, so I'm going to try one more time, put another target down, camera's still running, I'm going to try and get much more stable, um, and just play around with the scope a little bit, you can see I've taken the front shade off as well. Okay, so that's the uh, end of the shooting there. So, like I said, the idea here was to push it out as maximum as I could into the garden with the range that I've got. So I've just re-measured. I'm about 44 metres. So, unfortunately, I couldn't quite get 50 metres. Not unless I sat in next door's garden, and uh, I don't think she'd like that. So, um, like I said, I'm not a great shot at all. Um, you know, this is really about the rifle itself. But I can't remember which order these are in. That was the uh, first one. I think that was the first one or the second one. Anyway, these are definitely the first two shots. And you can see that where I was with the cushion and I, I haven't shot for age, my breathing's off and everything's terrible. Um, but that's not bad. You know, especially this one's not too bad at all. You can see a couple of pulled shots there. So anyway, I took my time, decided, right, let's sort myself out, organise the pillows a little bit more, took one of the pillows away, tried to get myself a little bit more comfortable and tried to remember the, the techniques that I've been told. Um, and uh, the result was this. That is 14 shots at about 44 metres in an inexperienced hand. Um, I've tried many different pallets. I found for my gun, and obviously it's going to change for everybody's gun, I found that these pallets work the best for me, the uh, Diablo Fields. Uh, really, really good pallets. 
Um, generally find that in these, you know, one in every 20 is deformed, so check them out before you throw them into your magazine. So I just sort them out, and make sure that I've got no deformed ones in there. But that's what I can achieve. Now, my breathing, my technique, my shooting is not great at all. You know, you can get better than that. And I've seen videos of people doing better than that with this rifle. So hopefully that answers uh, some of the questions for you. Uh, those people that have been asking, I do look at the YouTube comments and the forum comments, and uh, I'll try to answer any questions I can. But uh, uh, 44 meters, amateur hands. Awesome little rifle. Um, very, very good. And obviously it's all regulated shots. So if you like this video, please subscribe. Uh, give me a thumbs up, like, uh, feed it around. Let everybody know about it. And like I said, this is not for profit, this channel at all. This is purely for a bit of fun. And if it pays for a couple of pellets, tins of pellets for me, then all the better. So thank you very much. Bye.